Most of the major European cities were already well established when skyscrapers were introduced in Chicago and New York. The city centers were already taken up by grand old buildings, and the European governments didn't want to get rid of their heritage and tradition in place of tower blocks. So when you think about the skyscraper being a relatively modern invention, it seems obvious as to why ancient cities like Rome and Athens don't have tower blocks on every corner. But why today, since space is at such a premium, is there still a limit to the number of skyscrapers built in Europe? You'll admit this is an interesting question, and we'll do our best to reveal the answer to you as soon as possible. But before that, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Then we can continue the video. And yes, welcome back to Genesis. Surprisingly, there are only 218 skyscrapers in the whole of Europe, and 68% of them are in five big cities, London, Moscow, Paris, Frankfurt, and Istanbul. The reason the old continent is so reluctant is that everything comes with a price. To begin with, Europe is a huge attraction for tourists due to its impressive buildings that were built many centuries ago. The existence of modern buildings of different architecture would make it hard to compromise these two incompatible styles. European countries and their city centers would lose their cultural identity, and the whole view of the city would change. Another crucial parameter has to do with the costs of building a skyscraper. The ambitious buildings expect fat pockets and big investors to become a reality, and even though business people in Europe are handling their finances pretty well, they prefer to invest their money in more safe industries like medicine, energy sources, and transportation. After the destruction caused by the Second World War, you'd think Europe would take the opportunity to redesign its cities. However, Europe actually did the opposite and tried to restore much of the heritage and tradition that they had before that was lost in the war. Rather than modernizing, they simply recreated old architectural designs. The space, therefore, was again taken up with a large number of low-rise and, needless to say, beautiful buildings. In addition, the post-war population figures were low and the demand for countless skyscrapers simply didn't exist. Another reason why Europe still doesn't have many skyscrapers is due to the planning regulations and restrictions that came into place in the 1960s and 70s. Before these regulations were put in place, some cities, most notably Brussels, started demolishing older buildings and replacing them with more modern and to many more unsightly structures. This led to the coining of the term Brusselization for the description of a city being taken over by unattractive, soulless, high-rise buildings. One of the real charms of many European cities is their relatively low skylines, which allow you to soak up the beauty of the place, seeing the whole of each building rather than peering up at looming windows high above. Having a city that centers around low-rise buildings means that when you do head to a place of higher ground, you can witness the whole city spread out in front of you. In the Middle Ages, churches were the most important building in the city and subsequently often the tallest. Therefore, the best European cities such as Prague, Cologne, Amsterdam, and St. Petersburg are without skyscrapers, and they offer travelers spectacular skylines. When you compare the number of skyscrapers in Europe, 218, to that of the United States, 639, and Asia, 2,777, it is mind-blowing. But perhaps due to the demand for city living, globalization, and economic growth, this is all set to change. You can therefore expect to see a modern landscape in some European cities, but that doesn't mean that culture and tradition are neglected entirely. Europe has managed to create a harmonious balance of old and new, allowing travelers to experience the low-rise cultural parts of a city without really having to interact with the towering skyscrapers of the CBD. Well, it sounds like that's all for today. What did you think about this topic? Whether your opinion is good or bad, please share us in the comments section below. We'd like to know it. Also, don't forget to like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next one and the next one will surely blow your mind. So thanks for watching the video until the end. We hope you liked it. We'll see you again soon.